Hi, I'm Margaret Hadfield. I'm an Australian professional artist. My videos are intended to give you a really good grounding and also to enhance your existing art practice or to help you on your way as a total beginner. It is not necessary for you to have previous experience. I teach across all mediums and I'm really happy to share my experience and my knowledge with you. Participating in the creative arts provides health and well-being benefits which everyone can use. I regularly connect with my community via Facebook and I share my students' creations as well as my own. Thank you to my Patreons and remember to like and subscribe if you wish to see more of my videos as I release them. Thank you. Keep calm and paint. I got some plants that I put in pots A money tree for luck And forget me not Now I like to have a paper towel this is just a really good serviette and I'm going to just use the serviette to get bulk of the water off and, and I'll add the water. Again, I'm brushing, brushing with direction. Is that okay? Oh, this has got a bit of a wobble on it. I'll get another brush. <coughs> So the thing is to not have your pair all the same colour. So it'd be very easy to do. I've just got to watch that I don't light I don't darken all of this. You might notice I just wash it off a little bit now and again. And I can also suck it up as well. Perhaps that was a pretty dark pencil. There we go. Brushing with direction. So it's a... Oops. I've got a bit too much, bit too much water there. Um, because it's reflecting light, I, what I can do is just mop it up a little bit like that. <coughs> That's okay. Now, where it's shiny in here, I'm just going to tap with just minimal little taps there. This is a, a medium that takes a bit of planning. <coughs> Sorry, just... I might leave that little bit of light on the stem. Now, I think I should be ready to come in here. You can, I could be a bit soon, but it, it's okay. So if I went too soon, it, it could bleed up into the pear. So that's part of the problem. I'll just, um, because I dry it, tapped it off, it shouldn't be too wet in there. Now I'm just going to let it swing, let it bleed, let it bleed. There's a song there. <laughs> All right, that's it. You can fiddle till the cows come home, but I, I think I'm done. My job is done. It's going to drip, but oh well, that's life. Okay, 
So that's a, basically a good way to start into watercolour is to use a water soluble pencil and certainly those are, are great. You could use, there are many water soluble pencils on the market. This one's particularly um, soft and, and nice to work with. Just lots of lovely toys and, and things. So now I'm going to do the pair in watercolour. So I have prepared a board earlier and I can do that. Now, instead of using the pencil, what I'm going to do is use a brush. So if you think about drawing with your brush instead of drawing with a pencil, it's the same attitude, it's the same, it's the same thing, except you have a brush. So you're still going to draw. I'll just have to put some water over here and so that it's near my palette. Hopefully that's all okay. And I make a puddle. You can put water into a well. So I'm going to draw the pair. Just with yellow. Now you always have water, color, water with your watercolour. Let's see if I can get this shape right. So it'll take the fear off a little bit if you can just think of this like a pencil. Now, the, there's two ways of handling the shine. You either leave it or suck it up. So I'm going to fill it in and I'll suck it up just to show you. Just get that yellow in there. You could add a hair, hair of blue to it, but we'll do that in a sec. It's just an easy way. So I'll let that just soak in for a moment. And where I want the shine, I just get my finger behind it and suck it up. Easy, easy peasy. All right, I need to let that dry because you can't do anything. It's just going to bleed all over the place. So what I'd like to do is go on to my little branch. So is that okay? Um, there it is. <laughs> all right, so while that's drying, it's all about utilising the time, even if, um, if you're at home. So you wait for things. You might go and have a cup of coffee now. You might go and put the washing on the line. You let it dry. It's all about timing. And um, <clears throat> so, but while um, you're waiting for me, I can do the background of my branch. So I'll show you how to do a sky evenly. Maybe I'll put a, a board there. No, I haven't got one. I could possibly... Anyway, that'll, do, that'll be fine. The best way to do a, an even sky is to wet it first. Now, <coughs> fortunately, there's no yellow in my water. It could have been because I was just using it. But if I just wet it first... <coughs> now, by the way, this paper is... Um, oh to die for. This is um, 638 grams Arsha's watercolour paper. That is like beautiful stuff. So I like um, to give my students a taste of the good quality. Um, so it is really, really nice to use, but it's expensive. I think it's around $38 a sheet now, so it's very expensive. Everything's gone up, but it's dearer for a reason. It's because it's amazing and amazing quality. So you don't have to be so careful. A little bit of, this is going to have blue on it. And if a little bit of blue went into your branch, it doesn't matter so much. So I'm just 
trying to be as quick as possible because, um, because by the time you're finished, the first bit will be dry. So you could, could use a bigger brush, of course. There we go. All right, so I can, I can see. So I might just, um, um, just sit that there for a moment. Now I'm going to make some blue, blue sky. I could actually pour a little bit in the well. That'd be good. And, and make a puddle beside the blue. If I have a hair of magenta, then I can have, see I've got my three primaries here, magenta, my bright yellow and my blue. Now this particular company that I use is called May Marie Blue. Now lo and behold, they are calling them primaries. One of the very few companies that say what the primaries are. So it's got primary magenta, primary blue and primary yellow. So that is brilliant. But I have included a bit of brown on here as well. I've actually put two, 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 and two, because I'm going to be, um, you'll see later, I'll be making different colors. So my three primaries are there. This is soaking in nicely. And now I put my blue sky on. And you'll see it bleed. I'll have to work a bit quicker and just get it on. So I work across, look at it bleed, it's beautiful. Let's pick up a bit more. Got a little bit of a bleed in the branch there, but that's okay. That'll be a leaf. It is running downhill, so I might have to straighten it up a bit. It's difficult to really demonstrate watercolour because it's kind of uh, gets instinctive and you have varying amounts of water varying amounts of pigment, varying types of paper. So it can be tricky in a classroom situation to really, really show how it's done. So it's... Um, beautiful. It is a lovely medium, but you've got to have unbroken time. So you really can't run off right now because you're halfway through a sky. You just can't. You're going to wreck it. You'll lose the momentum, lose the moment. So I'm getting a bit lighter as I come down. Now, that'll probably do. It has, has run down. It hasn't gone as well as I would like. I have... Um, uh, thought about just doing a bit of that. It kind of granulates your, your paint a little bit. Um, so you can actually maybe see it happening there. It just separates a little bit. Anyway, all right. So I'm going to let that dry and pop it over there. It's a bit streaky. Not as good as I would have hoped. But anyway, back to the pear. So I'll let that sit. Um, a little bit of uh, now I've got to make some some green. Now, of course, the green, it is quite lime green in some sections. But if I want to dull it down, I just add a tiny bit of magenta. There is certainly a lovely lime green around there. Let's see how this looks. So the second colour... And I'm doing a little less, although I do, I can come in. I think I could pretty well do most of the pair, except where there might be shine. Um, simply because there's no straight yellow, it's certainly a bit lighter in there. I'm not liking that brush very much, so I'll grab another one. That's 
that on. Now watercolour dries lighter. So you have to keep that in mind. You can go a little brighter than what you think. A bit hard around there. So this, this water, this brush is beautiful. So you noticed I, I washed my brush, I wiped it off and I can just tap away a bit in there. Okay, I just took a, a little moment to, uh, to let that dry. It's still a little bit wet, but at least it's a bit drier. So it's just about making, taking the moment of um, being patient. It really is a patient medium, so um, just take some little moments like that. Now I'm just coming in for a darker colour now and so I'm just doing a little bit of mixing. So I'm seeing quite a quite um, bit of brown. I might have to come over here. I can make it, but I have actually put sepia on the palette, which is uh, just a little bit easier. So I'm just going to come down this left-hand side. Now it's important to not go everywhere. So I'm going to use my second brush to soften things away. So I've put a strong mark there, but I um, am just going to soften. Now you can do your own style here, of course, and this is where differences happen. You can be bold and strong with your brush stroking, or you soften it away. Uh, I feel there's a little bit more yellow going on on this pair, so I might just add a little bit more yellow up here as well, which I can do. And I'll take a bit more down this side. Now it does fade off down this side. You notice I've got two, two brushes in my hand. One's got next to nothing on it except a bit of moisture. So I'm just sort of running a bit down that side. Strangely, I'm seeing a bit of reflection on that side. It almost looks blue. Actually, you just might suck that up. So you kind of just it really is observing uh, a lot. I'm going to get a little bit more brown and I can use a little bit of magenta as well. There's certainly bits of brown on this pair, but I'm just mainly concerned with getting light and shade happening. So down this side, you can see I've got the, the good brush. And I'm going to use the second brush just to, to whisk, whisk that away. So I want this to feel round. I don't want it to feel flat. There's certainly some um, yellow-brown going on there, particularly at the top. Yeah, this is the bad one that's wobbly. I'll get another one. Got about the stem, and I can pop that on. There is a possibility. Um, yeah, it doesn't. Um, it's a possibility. There's a there's a right side and a wrong side to paper, so uh, that I have the wrong side. Now remember, there's a. Uh, the belly area through here, which is that little bit darker. So I'm just trying to gently put that in. But I'm also conscious of the fact that it's um, drying, going to dry lighter. So sometimes it can be just wet and it feels darker and it's, and it's actually not. Um, so just watch out for those little moments. Ooh. Got some bit wind happening. I'm going to now put a bit of um, a, a stem on. So I didn't um, do that. And with pears, you'll often see that bit of um, brown up the top here. 
It's a bit wet, but anyway, that's all right. So I'll let that stem dry. I'll come out a bit at the top. Um, and now I'm going to put the base in. I think that's dry enough down there, so that should be all right. A bit of water, and uh, I find if you put a little bit of blue with sepia, that'll give you black. Okay, so I'll come in underneath and see what happens. If it's uh, too wet on my pear, it'll, it'll bleed. Just come in underneath. Okay, that'll probably do it. I can also um, just come in with this pencil as, as well a bit. And just finally, finally darken underneath. And I'll put a little bit of extra dark now on the stem. Just observing. I'm not all that happy with that, but that'll, uh, that's it. Sometimes uh, it works and sometimes not so well. But um, I might actually, with a bit more time, just do a little bit more around there. I've got a feeling, um, yeah, it's possible I'm on the wrong side of the paper. But I'll leave that and come to the branch. Now the branch has some, um, all right, lots of lovely things going on here. So I'm going to make a orange. And so I need yellow and magenta, lots of water. Okay, and I'm just going to leave that brush there and I'll get another brush. It's a good idea to have the water nearby. And this time I want purple. So what I'm going to do is, I, I don't know, certainly Australians have heard of Albert Nemajura, uh, an, an in Aboriginal watercolourist. Um, Probably died about 1950. Pretty amazing um, gum trees he did in watercolour. So I've made a purple and a orange. And the reason why I mentioned his name is that I feel like I'm. I feel like I'm doing his um, his technique, I guess, of the bleeding and the running on the gum branch. So I'm just going to uh, have to put this a bit more flat. I'll put it, put it there. Um, under the branch with orange, trying to do it in one stroke. You can see it's lovely and wet. I'm just going to wipe the brush there. And then on top of the br branch, I, I don't want it, whoops, I don't want it too dark. over the top. Now I have to ignore the masking fluid. Remember the masking fluid's there. So what's actually happening is they're meeting in the middle. Just ignore it. And then I'll go on to the other one. So just letting them do their thing. There is this potential for you to overwork. Just like the photograph, it's very orange under the branch, reflecting light. A bit noisy up there. And I'll just do that last branch. Is 
I said, I'm just ignoring, uh, I'm overshooting the runway a little bit. Um, put a bit more orange on the, on the uh, trunk. And you can see how the colours are bleeding in together. And that's my Albert Nemajura moment. I love it, absolutely love it. So I'll let that dry and you can see them all running in together. Now I'll do a few leaves just to show you how it's, how it's done because um, I really love to dance with my brush when I'm doing leaves. So I'm just going to grab some light green and um, I'm just, this is what I call dancing with my brush. It's just flicking around like a crazy person. And the Australian gum tree is not all just dangling down. It is, you flick around and you be a little bit loose. So I'll just do a little section and you start light. Just do a little bit there, just to give you the idea. And then get a little bit darker. I can even use the purple. Uh, a bit of brown, that'd be great. And you can see bits of darkness as well. I really think if you're going to go like this, one at a time, not only will you run out of time, it'll just take forever, but it doesn't feel as nice as, as when you can be more loose and the, see the, get a feeling of, of leaves. That works better, I think. Um, just getting that loose feel. You can run a few branches. See how I'm holding the brush up? I can, even though it's a large brush, I can still get an amazing thin line like that. I can come and put some bark on the tree, even when it's still wet. Just put some little spots. If you overshot the runway in a few spots, that's okay. Run some bark. Um, yeah, it's so much fun. We're almost finished. I'd forgotten um, that we have to run the ball of your finger on the dry piece. So I've got to be careful, I just added some leaves. Um, a ball of your finger will take that masking fluid off. So you don't scratch it off, you just gently rub it. And it, it is a bit sharp, but you can come in and soften the edge down. So that has left the white of the paper on the tree, which is amazing. So it's a great tool to have with watercolour. Um, without cheating with gouache. So if you can see how easy that's coming off. And, um, and as I said, it's um, a little bit sharp. So you may find yourself just, just come in and, and soften, so, soften the edge a little bit. So it's not quite so, so bold, but, um, but you can see how that, that kind of works. And um, I can just pull in little bits of bark and just soften the edge a bit. But basically, that, that's a great tool to use uh, with, with watercolour. And uh, just add a little bit of magenta there, a bit of grey perhaps, and just soften, soften it a little bit. I won't worry too much, but it's basically um, just, just the idea. I hope you really um, didn't enjoy it and uh, learn something. It's all just about learning something and you do have to have a, a quieter um, feeling. You've got to be slow your life down and, and just consider and, and go slowly and really um, think about and plan a watercolour. Thank you to all my subscribers and Patreons and also to DJ Gosper for allowing me to use her wonderful music. Keep calm and paint. <laughs>